And the second one I want to describe is a little more, uh, mm, mm, more prevalent because it's, a, it's a cheaper. That's called photodiode. And it looks like this photodiode. You see this uh, one centimeter? So photodiode can be very small. These are silicon photodiodes. And what are photodiodes? It converts light energy into electrical current or vertices based on uh, how we uh, apply our circuit. So a good example of photodiode is actually solar cell. You know, the solar energy generate electrical solar power uh, as a large photodiode. So that's what you can see, understand as a photodiode. So when photon strikes the semiconductor material such as a, a silicon or a gallium arsenide, and then photocurrent is generated by, again, photoelectric effect. So here is a symbol for this. So what it means is when photon gets in, then from anode to cathode, there will be a, a current. A, a good example for this is a finger, finger pulse oximeter, which I will discuss later. And there we use LED and photodiode because it's very tiny, uh, you can make it small. And that resulting voltage is proportional to the intensity of incoming light. So this is a more of a, uh, the insight for photodiode. There's the P types, there's the N types, uh, N types, uh, there's an electron, P types, there's a hole pair, and you, you can put a bias voltage, and that external light will create a photo uh, current. And I want to show that uh, uh, an exemplary data sheet for dependent on the wavelength, and this is in silicon photodiode, you can see the response as the incoming watt, incoming light uh, power of the light, you will generate a corresponding ampere, which is a current. And you can see the uh, response curve seems like it's the most sensitive around uh, 900, uh, like 50 here. And it's a little lower and lower into UV regime and you can detect only up to about 1100 nanometer. So higher than that, it's hard to measure using this. So uh, because I, I introduced PMT and photodiode, I just want to um, uh, give you a sense of comparison. This is reference. So when do we use photodiode in comparison to photomultiplier too? So photodiode has an advantage of excellent linearity of output current as a function of incident light input or intensity. And you can see this is a much lower cost compared to this PMT, which is inside this uh, vacuum tube and very delicate. You can't, uh, you can't shake, you can't drop this because it will break. So while photodiode is much compact and lightweight and it's, it just lasts pretty long, long lifetime. You don't need to worry about lifetime and higher quantum efficiency. And you don't need to provide high voltage to run this like in the PMT, as you say, you do need a separate uh, high voltage uh, power supply to run PMT. And, and then disadvantages of photodiode, of course, is a uh, more of a, uh, could be advantage of PMT, which you see the uh, active area can be very small, while PMT, uh, you can generate this photo cathode as a, a pretty big. And this is a side view, and this is a frontal, uh, view of PMTs. And photodiode do not have an internal gain except avalanche photodiode, while PMT has a huge gain mechanism. Uh, as you remember, there's a, a multiple dynode which amplify, multiply the photo current. And photodiode has an uh, overall lower sensitivity compared to with the PMT, and it's a slower response time. And so because of that, it's low sensitivity. You can count photon in general with a uh, photodiode. So their applications can be a little different. So with this, uh, next time I'll discuss about uh, instruments in medical practice. Thank you.